Plaintiff Sherilyn Marie Fudge claims her mom was so thirsty for a milkshake that she ran a red light and crashed Sherilyn's convertible. She is suing for $3,430 for repairs and expenses. Defendant Joey Marie Fudge says she didn't cause the crash and claims her daughter is a selfish gold digger who's always trying to get something for nothing. She's countersuing for $4,062. You're suing your mom? Yeah, my mom, she wrecked my car. She's very irresponsible. She's more like my sister. She never wants to take blame for anything that she does. Her car was in the shop and I lent her my car to use. She was just supposed to go run one errand and then go home. Instead, she wanted to go get a strawberry milkshake. Did you want one? N no, I wasn't even knowing she was going to go get a strawberry milkshake. She calls me up and says, uh, someone just ran into me, I got in an accident. So I drive and get to the scene, my car, I think it's totaled. Yeah, and that's the car your mom was driving. Yes, sir. And it looks like the front right side there. Yes, sir. Wow. The whole front end was damaged, my and headlights. Did that happen before you got to the uh, strawberry shake Judge place? Judge Jerry, the, the story that she's sitting here telling, that's not what, what, what happened. You didn't go I to get I wasn't going a to a store. I wasn't just going to get a milkshake. I was on my way to have her car looked at by a mechanic because okay. she had the brake light sensor on. She wasn't even supposed to go there and get the milkshake. So if she didn't go there, the accident probably would have never happened. I can't go get a milkshake while I'm doing her a favor. Not only was I doing her a favor to getting the brake light sensor fixed, I was also going to incur the bill that the mechanic possibly was going to charge okay. for cops, taking the light off the of the car. The cops and witnesses both said I was that doing you a she ran a red light. For your little BMW, and then I was after doing the you a fact, favor. she okay. still tried going to get the milkshake. Before this drama over the milkshake, she also crashed what was your mower. relationship like? This is mom, daughter. Do you guys get along okay normally? Uh, exactly. No, exactly, she Judge Derek. She acts See like her a child. pink little cow like and beautiful suit. Yeah. She went and got to come here and to attack me. She's always trying to gold dig on me or somebody else, trying to get really more. I work really hard. She does not work. She stays at home all day. <clears throat> um, I used to work with her, and I actually had to fire her. Why? You fired me? You was never my boss. What do you mean you had to fire me? Uh, we used to she work is at ridiculous. IHOP. What do you mean you fired her? I was 16 at the time. She got in a lot of altercations at work with um, customers all the time. She actually got into a fight with another employee at the time. So you said, Mom? You gotta go back home to the cats. I worked really hard for my car, and I just really asked her just to pay for my deductible. And uh, what was your, your deductible? My was deductible was $1,000. $1,000. And $82 to fix my car, and my insurance now is $80 more than what I've been paying. I understand there was to be a police report as to whose fault it was. Do you have that? Shh, uh, no, sorry, I do not have the police yes, report on me. That. But on the phone, she told me that someone ran out of her, and when I got there, uh, the cops told me, no, she ran a red light to get this strawberry milkshake, and she had another car. Probably oh, wanted to I was doing anyway. her a favor. Okay, well, well wait a second. You're bringing, a, you're bringing the lawsuit here, and it's pretty relevant to the case as to whether she caused the accident because you're suing her, mm -hmm. or whether someone ran into your car. Correct. And I don't have the police report. Why didn't you bring it? Um, I do have. Like the claim number, I just didn't, I couldn't get a um, copy of the police report. She's a liar. I'm well, lying. we don't know that lying about So me. after the wreck, did you try to go get another um, strawberry milkshake after my car? You weren't Did I crying? not offer you one? Did I not she offer you one? I mean, the car was wrecked. There's milkshake. nothing I could do about okay, it. Okay, before. The, wreck, the car is wrecked. You sued your mom because you said she wrecked your car. Yes, sir, Your Honor. The only thing this court knows is the car was wrecked, but we don't know who is responsible for the wreck. You're also talking about renting a minivan? Um, at the time, I was gonna rent me a car. Uh, I ended up, could not afford to rent the car, so I had to use a 2001 Dodge Caravan. Her boyfriend. Oh, okay, so you didn't pay that money. No, but She's it was lying. a 2001 okay, well, yeah. Dodge Caravan that I did not want to drive around town for over 43 days mm. while yeah. my car was getting fixed. Right, but you didn't pay right. to rent a car. No, sir, I couldn't afford it. Why would you then sue $1,950 you're asking 
her to pay for your car rental when in fact you didn't pay nine. If I was going to rent a car, that's you how much. were going to. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Judge Jerry. She she just you know she's lying, lie after lie. She just worries about how she looks and what she's driving. Poor baby had to drive a little Dodge Caravan. It was very clean. It was a very nice, decent, presentable, yeah. and it was free. It was her boyfriend's minivan. But that's minivan not what I'm used to, he's or selling. what I wanted to drive. Okay, you're not going to recover money for her for a car rental that you didn't have to pay for. Yes, Your Honor. In your countersuit. I was hurt in the wreck. I have an emergency. I don't field. doubt that, but what I don't know is because neither of you, are, unless you have a copy of the police report. Well, no, I didn't. Well, well I'm not. So no, I, I can't need determine. One. Can you just admit you wrecked the car? Your counter suing her for what? Well, she's very spoiled. That's why we're here. You can't here. sue someone she's... because you think they're spoiled. You raised her. I, I do everything for her, Your Honor. You're a Judge mother. Jerry, I You're a mother, a, a loving mother. Yes. Do, and sometimes doesn't get gratitude in return, but a loving no. parent does whatever they can for their kids. And I do. I bend over backwards for Wonderful. Her. If I look at it here, it says the defendant, that is you, are countersuing for $4,062. So you got it right down to the $62. <laughs> For six months rent, what, what is this rent about? She's been living there with me rent free. I do all the cleaning. I do wash Did all you, the clothes. She's I your daughter. She's living up. with you. Did you make an agreement before she moved in that you are going to pay your share of the rent? I never, is there any agreement? never brought that up, but I mean, being no, she's so trying you to can't, sue if, me. If that wasn't the agreement, you can't then later on suddenly say, oh, by the way, I'm charging you rent for the months if you're living here. No, you can only charge her rent if the agreement ahead of time was you can live in this place, but you will pay X dollars of rent. And also, you're suing her for $1,500 for maid labor? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, she's bringing me here. Why would my own daughter bring me here to sue me for a car that, you know, I was doing her a favor? She's if it's a family member, you love that person. You don't charge I do them. love her. I do love her. She does do a lot for me, but I am never home. I do work. I pay for all my own food. I buy my toothpaste, my shampoo, my conditioner, buy all my clothes, buy everything myself. She actually goes into my room, takes most of my stuff, uses it, Always wearing Do my you clothes. use her toothpaste? No, I do not. Okay. I use my own Look, toothpaste. Enough of this. I see two really nice people who, at some level, really love each other, but this is just a spat that you guys are having. You could have had a serious case if you had bringing me evidence of who's responsible in the, for the accident, but you didn't give me any proof, and you didn't give me any proof either. And in terms of you suing her because now you think she should pay you rent for having lived there, that's after the fact. If you want to make a new arrangement with her, you're entitled, I don't think it's a wise thing to do, but you're entitled to say, daughter, you're an adult. If you want to live here, you're going to have to chip in with the rent. I'm going to charge you X amount of dollars per month. I just really just think she should have to pay the deductible. I know you think I that. shouldn't have to. But a court of law can't make a decision without proof. If you didn't bring the proof, therefore, I dismiss both cases. My case is Judge Derry, I love you. You're like the daddies of well, all Well, why daddies. didn't you say that ahead of time? <laughs> I don't know, but I love you. Came here unprepared. You know, um, that right there shows you she just came here to, to gold dig on me, to get some money out of me. I love Judge Derry. He's like the daddies of all daddies. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.